Welcome back to Chair Shot Reality. Who doesn't love a list? Who doesn't love comparisons? This week, I'm bringing out a top five list, the top five superstars this week on Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. Number five, ambiance. The Velveteen Dream. The Velveteen Dream main evented against Lars Sullivan in a hard-hitting, fast-paced, and intense bout with the Dream being interrupted by Tommaso Ciampa, but laying Ciampa out with the title cracking over his forehead. The Velveteen Dream has the palm of the crowd inside his hand, has the crowd right in his palm. He is exciting. He is going to NXT TakeOver, and if he doesn't win, that's not a problem because no matter what Velveteen does, win, lose, or draw, he is always the topic of discussion the next day. Velveteen Dream, Royal Albert Hall, the Dream has no memory of that, but I remember the Dream because he's my number five. Number four has to be the Olympic gold medalist who just main evented Monday Night Raw, and yeah, it's 2018. Kurt Angle. How about Kurt Angle looking in the best shape of his life? Well, maybe not the best shape of his life, but the best shape in the past 10 years. A great match, a storytelling of a match against Drew McIntyre. I was invested into it. I love the uh, background with it. I love Drew being a last minute substitution and, made, and, and picking up an actual win over Kurt Angle. It doesn't hurt Kurt Angle to go out like this, and Kurt Angle looks faster. He's taking harder bumps. He actually looks healthy from a mental and a physical standpoint. Kurt Angle, number four. Number three, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Everybody talked for the first few months about how Rousey was a one-trick pony who had a couple of moves and no mic skill. Well, she has really gotten better on the mic, and you can see it each and every week. This week was different than her just taking shots at a Nikki Bella. She was taking shots at Becky Lynch, but also talking about how she was the one that was woken up by her mom trying to break free from an arm bar. Ronda Rousey is real. She's legit. And that's why I love to see her talk and hype herself up. And if WWE ever wants to make her heel, it might be an easier transition than you would think. Ronda Rousey at number three. Number two is the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre. A big main event win on Monday Night Raw. I believe the next guy potentially for a Brock Lesnar Universal Championship match. I'd love to see him at the Royal Rumble against Brock Lesnar. Those two physical specimens could put on one hell of a showdown. I do fear that he could be treated like Braun Strowman at times against Brock Lesnar. But I think that Drew McIntyre is coming into his own. You can keep Drew and Dolph kind of together, but not in championship contention for the tag team division. But McIntyre's time is pretty much now. Look at him. Look how fast and agile he is for a guy his height and his weight. I think he is the perfect fit for a next Universal Championship match, and that's why he's number two. And number one this week on the top five superstars of Raw, SmackDown, and NXT... Who else? The Irish last kicker, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch cuts a scathing promo of Ronda Rousey. Becky Lynch gets the crowd behind her while she's still just the cockiest woman that you feel like you've ever heard, but you get it and you buy it. And you buy that Becky Lynch is a badass and has the potential to beat Ronda Rousey at Survivor Series. Will she? That's a different story for another day. But I do think Becky Lynch was fantastic this week and then she put on one hell of a match against Nikki Cross, one of my favorite women to ever come out of NXT. I'm excited for Nikki, but Becky, she is the man, she is the champ, and most importantly, she is number one here on CSR this week. More Cheer Shot Reality coming up. CSR all weekend long. Keep binge watch playlisting.